eight mistakes that prevent you from losing excess fat. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you work out, you're still unable to lose those stubborn extra pounds. If you can relate to this, you're not alone. Millions of people are striving to lose excess weight and failing. Statistically, more than one-third, 36.5% to be precise, of the adult population in the U.S. is obese. 32.5% more are overweight. On top of that, 17% of children in the U.S. aged from 2 to 19 have excess weight. Lots of these people are more than eager to get rid of the extra inches around their waist, but they can't. Luckily, we have a list of the eight most common mistakes that make it harder for you to get a perfectly toned body. And it doesn't matter how much you sweat it out at the gym. But before you find out the secrets for effective weight loss, click the red subscription button. It will take you to the bright side of life, where you will find hundreds of cool videos. And if you ring the notification bell as well, you'll be the first to see the new videos that appear on our channel several times a day. Number 8. You treat all calories equally. The calories you consume are not equal. Eating 100 calories of vegetables is not the same as eating 100 calories of ice cream, and they're not going to have the same effect on your body. If you take your weight loss process seriously, you should consider how much insulin is released by your body. This figure is based on the type of calories you take in. Insulin is a hormone that is secreted naturally, and your body can't function normally without it. Insulin regulates how much glucose your blood contains, and glucose provides your body with energy. But when a lot of insulin is released by the body consistently throughout the day, it prevents fat loss. On top of that, it encourages the body to store energy as body fat. The types of calories that spike insulin the most are those from carbohydrates in the form of simple sugar. So if you want to eat carbs and have stable insulin levels, stick to healthy carbs from food that's digested slowly. Products that contain slow carbs include beans and legumes, grains, rice and pasta, whole grain bread, and cereals. Along with these good carbs, protein can also increase your insulin levels. This is especially true for the protein in dairy-based products like skim milk and yogurt. Number 7. You don't focus enough on lean body mass. You cut down your calories and do a lot of cardio, yet your extra fat is still sticking around. In this case, it might be a good idea to focus on your lean body mass. This is your total weight, the weight of your muscles and bones, minus your fat weight. Increasing your lean body mass wakes up your resting metabolism. It also affects many different hormones in the body, including insulin, leptin, and ghrelin. These hormones communicate with your cells and inform them of whether it's time to store fat or release it. There are several important things you should know if you want to build up your lean body mass. Eat high-protein meals in the early evening. This will stimulate protein synthesis and decrease your appetite. As a result, you won't feel hungry enough to munch on snacks before going to bed. Don't exclude fat from your diet completely. The healthy fats in fish, avocado, olive oil, and some other products provide your body with enough fuel to tone your muscles during workouts. Do short, high-intensity cardio workouts. They help to maintain lean body mass and burn the fat that covers your muscles. Make sure you get enough vitamin D. It's crucial if you want to increase your lean body mass because your muscles use this vitamin to synthesize proteins. Number 6. You believe that eating more meals throughout the day will help you lose weight and burn fat. There's a special diet called intermittent fasting, and it's an amazing way to burn fat. It's a regimen that includes short periods of fasting that alternate with longer periods of eating whatever you want. During the periods of fasting, people either consume no food or significantly reduce their calorie intake. Fasting lowers insulin levels more than any other dietary methods do. It also causes your body to release glucagon to draw energy from your cells, including your fat cells. Those who follow this regimen believe that it's better to have one 1,600-calorie meal at the end of the day than to have several 400-calorie meals during the day. At the same time, you should avoid fasting if you have one of the following conditions. Diabetes. Use of medicines that can only be taken after a meal. Active stage of growth. Eating disorders such as anorexia or bulimia. Pregnancy or breastfeeding. Number 5. You believe that doing a lot of cardio is the only way to lose fat. Cardio might not seem as interesting and exciting as other exercises. Still, people think it's the only way to lose weight. But since it can get rather boring, they stop putting in the effort to lose weight altogether. Why does cardio fail to help you lose excess weight? 
there might be several reasons for this paradox. After a hard workout, people often reward themselves with tasty and high-calorie food. A study conducted in 1993 discovered that a hard workout actually impairs the body's ability to lose fat effectively. Cardio exercises can sometimes mess with hormone levels in such a way that your body will prefer to store fat rather than get rid of it. This is especially true for women. Cardio might result in the loss of muscle tissue, which will lead to the reduction of burned calories. The good news is that there are other ways to burn fat without having to spend long hours on the treadmill. The best way to reap the benefits of cardio is to incorporate it with weight training. Your trainer can help you create special sessions designed around your fitness goals. Number 4. You believe ads about magical fat-burning pills. Unfortunately, there are no shortcuts where fat loss is concerned. Fat-burning supplements will increase your resting heart rate to very high and unhealthy levels. On top of that, such pills and supplements can have serious side effects, including vomiting, nausea, high blood pressure, dizziness, and diarrhea. They can also have a negative effect on cholesterol levels. Therefore, the best way to accelerate weight loss is a healthy lifestyle and not a magic pill. Number 3. You aren't getting enough sleep A lack of sleep throws your body's hormone levels off balance, which then impacts your hunger levels the next day. The two main hormones that affect your appetite are ghrelin, the hormone that makes you feel hungry, and leptin, the hormone that makes you feel full. When you don't get enough sleep, the level of ghrelin rises while your leptin levels drop. This causes you to feel hungry and overeat. To get sound sleep, try going to bed a little earlier than usual. The best amount of sleep is at least 7 to 8 hours. Number 2. You're feeling stressed Feeling stressed can wreak havoc on human bodies. Stress causes the body to produce a steroid hormone called cortisol. This hormone increases your cravings for sugary foods, which provide instant energy and pleasure. When your cortisol levels remain high for a long period of time, it can increase the amount of fat your belly stores. Number 1. You're trying too hard Your body needs a healthy balance of exercise and rest. Doing too many hard workouts prevents your body from shifting excess fat. What's more, exercising without getting proper rest is perceived by your body as stress. As with any other stress, this impacts the level of cortisol in your body, which causes an increase in the stubborn fat stored in the belly. Do you know of any other mistakes that can prevent people from losing excess weight? Tell us about them in the comments below. If this video has been useful to you, give us a thumbs up. And remember to click subscribe as life is always more interesting on the bright side.